Is this scary? I'm confused, but I don't like the vibes this is giving off. Okay, so there's two girls. The hand, oh, the hand's like trying to grab at one of them while they're like playing. They're poking holes in the canvas. <gasps> Ew! I didn't notice that. Holy shit. Hey guys, before we get into today's video, I wanted to issue a warning. Uh, this does touch on a really sensitive subject for some people. Well, actually, I think regardless of your experiences, this is a really sensitive subject. The video we're going to watch today touches on sexual abuse as a child, but it's a very, very creative and artistic portrayal of the experience. In the comments that we read together at the end from people that have experiences like this appreciated the video as it almost like educates people about the harsh reality that some people face. So yeah, just fair warning. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, uh, make sure to follow me on Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter just to stay updated on what I'm doing uh, and to join in on moments like these uh, so we can, yeah, just experience stuff like this together. We don't always watch things this heavy. It's usually more lighthearted, but uh, yeah, someone brought this to my attention. Okay, um, I would say enjoy the video, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, there we go. What the fuck is this? Is this scary? Wait, is this fucked? What is this about? I'm confused, but I don't like the vibes this is giving off. I, I can tell something's, something's gonna go wrong. Is that a hand? Is that a hand? Did that al did that UFO just lay an egg? The fuck? Oh, I don't like how that looks. The hand is like, it's like grabbing that little ass fucking girl and that girl's not liking that shit at all. Wait, wait, can we restart that? Like just rewind a little bit. Okay, so there's two girls. The hand, oh, the hand's like trying to grab at one of them while they're like playing. Cause like, if, if you pay attention here, it like, it reached for this one first. Yeah, it reached for this one first and it escaped. Or like maybe it just missed, but then it got this one. Oh, are they at a park? Oh, she has a sad face. Oh, she's crying. Oh, they're scared. No notice, notice how this girl on the left, the one that got grabbed, half of her body now is dark. Like the same color as like that evil looking hand thing. Almost like she's tainted. holes in the canvas it's like they're removing the innocence from the picture Like little by little, like at the beginning of the video, it was like all like so pure, so innocent. 
now the picture and the girls are like becoming oh she was just straight up grabbed holy fuck like entirely what the fuck look at where the hole is where's the hole Wait, what do you mean? Yeah, I see I see the hole, but what, what's the hole in? Like, what was the hole punched into? Let me see. <gasps> Ew! I didn't notice that. Holy shit. Ew, the, what the, look at what the finger's fucking doing. She's just grabbed completely right there. Holy shit. Yeah, and now it's just completely destroying the canvas. Oh no, the girl. Like, she's like just all in the dark. What is that? What is that? Oh, fucking, is that a cigarette? You piece of shit. That was absolute. So that whole thing was like a metaphor for like sexual abuse, huh? It had to have been. I mean, it, it was all there. And I hate the theme. I hate the theme now that I understand, I think. So like at the beginning, it's all pure and innocent. And then it over the course of the video, it's like showing you the slow theft of these two little girls innocence because like it's all pastel -y, it's all like sunshine and rainbows like, look look how it starts look how it ends how is this on youtube because it is it is disturbing but in a way like this is like a very creative and like artistic way of showing something like very real it, and it's sad it's sad it starts off so innocent it, i mean girl little girls man god damn innocent then like towards the middle it, it's gradual it's super gradual it's still colorful but it's like their innocence is starting to fade because of like this fucked up guy like predator at the park or something but yeah, let, let's read some of the comments this comment has 3.4 thousand likes they, they say this is an amazing art piece i've never seen such a piece that was able to capture the pain of childhood trauma slash abuse i've never had anything reflect the pain i went through as a child so well all the fear came back to me watching this and it most certainly took me a while to get through uh but through my tears i can say that this is one of the most accurate pieces uh on child abuse i've ever seen thank you for creating this see this is exactly why it exists like for people to like relate people to relate people to feel less alone uh and to feel understood yeah see because like it takes true understanding of the issue at hand to to portray it in a way as good as this as accurate as this and artistically as well so it, it definitely serves like a, a good purpose it's very well made too yeah i'm gonna I'm I'm leave a like on it mm -hmm.